Hey everyone, welcome back to Chokar Sammeh. We are reading day 129 of Lamrimiya, making life meaningful day by day. So let's get started. Day 129, quote, just because we've been born human this time doesn't mean that we can never again be reborn as an animal. End quote, Lama Yeshe. Text. Because of their scientific education and understanding of progressive evolution, Westerners often find it difficult to accept that a human being can become like an animal. They think such regression to be impossible. Actually, it's possible. As I have said before, the sick mind can manifest at the physical level. This is the same thing. It doesn't matter that we look like a human being. Our mind can degenerate such that we behave worse than an animal. The mental energy generated in that way can later transform at the physical level and come to occupy an animal body. That's possible. But don't think that this means our human body somehow changes into an animal body. I'm not saying that. When our consciousness separates from our physical present human body, since it contains the energy of the animal mind, that mental energy transforms into an animal body. Right action and wrong action are determined by right thought and wrong thought. Right wisdom leads to right action. Wrong conceptions lead to wrong actions. If we put the energy of the human body, speech and mind in the right direction, it is so powerful. The problem is that our life has no direction and that is why our energy is fragmented. We must check up on how our life is right now. Does it have direction? If not, we are wasting all the energy of our body, speech and mind. Therefore, we need the discriminating knowledge wisdom to distinguish between right and wrong. In order to develop that, we have to understand our mind and know how positive and negative minds arise. Since all actions arise from the mind, without checking our mind, how can we determine the nature of our actions? The three big recalls of the day are, it's possible for a human being to degenerate so much that they become like an animal. At death, the consciousness leaves this body and comes to occupy an animal body. We need to check upon whether we are putting our energy in the right direction. Well, that's it for today. I hope I'll see you all again tomorrow when we read day 130, 130. Okay, bye-bye from Chukar Sunday.